Hello, and thank you for joining us here at Revolution Data Systems. These videos are short clips on the new features of OpenText AX16.3. This video will demonstrate the ability to configure user settings and view recently viewed documents and checked out documents. Let's begin. On the main page after logging in, if you go to the right top where you see the logged in user and click on the context menu, you'll see user settings. I'm going to click on that. If you click on the user settings, this will display in a categorized format the different settings that a user can change to make their user experience with AX easier and tailored to their business needs. These settings can also be controlled globally in application management in AX Administrator. Most of these settings have existed for years in previous versions of AX. They've just been reorganized or renamed. Uh, as you can see, these are categorized by function in AX. And I'd like to point out just a few that are new to the latest versions of AX8 and 16. So in the search settings, you can enable the preview, the thumbnails for each document in the query results and configure the page number to be in that specific preview. In the document view here, you can now configure the browser to handle PDF files or AX can render them in the viewer. If you use the browser to display PDF, secure and non-secure, this uses the Adobe app installed on the workstation to display the PDF. If you enable view native images, you can display bitmap, JPEG, GIF, and PNG images without the render server having to render them. In the import settings here, you can enable scanning if you have the Captiva Cloud runtime installed and a scanner connected. This will allow the user to scan directly from any web browser. Under print settings, you can now print with endorsements and can have the print job retry up to 10 times if there was a print job failure. In email settings here, you can also specify the mail message format, uh, either being text or HTML, and also you can specify your client email format, either message or email, depending upon the um, email client that the user is using. And the last one I'd like to point out is you can show uh, checked out documents in your um, home page, or in this case, it would be the post login page. So last but not least, you can enable the post login pages that display the user's recently viewed documents. However, the audit trail must be enabled in order to use this feature. In the audit trail, the page audit must be enabled. If we log in, you will see the recently viewed documents and the user's checked out documents. So I'm going to log out here and then log back in. And so see here, you can um, the recently viewed documents are displayed and you can see the application name that that document is in. Um, you can actually change this document title to uh, a specific index field that makes more sense um, for the specific application. And then you can also see when that document was viewed. Um, as well over here, you can see the user's checked out documents. And again, you can see that it's under the application name. Uh, this document title um, could be any of the index fields for that specific application. And also you can see when that document was checked out and the comments. And then also, if you have the ability, you can cancel the checkout. So this concludes this video. So thank you, and please review the other clips on our site to see more exciting features in AX16.3.